Okay, got that pump down. Um, it's got a socket, inch and a half. I think it wants to be inch and a quarter, or inch and three eighths. I think inch and three eighths. So, uh, found a washer. There you go. It's a much better fit. Um, so we get this undone and see what we see. See what's uh, stopping it sealing. Hmm, nothing immediately apparent, so we just drop that spring somewhere. Let's have a look for that before we go too much further. Seem to have a look at the system. Right, anyway, um, found that spring. Um, I've not found any rubbish in there. I was thinking I was going to find some bit of swarf in there or something, because that compressor was a bit noisy when we fired it up, and I wonder whether something had worked its way through. But it seems pretty good. Um, now I'm wondering if that spring was in backwards, because um, if you put it in this way, a tight fit and if you push it in it stays compressed need two rounds for this but if you put it in the other way around it's actually quite springy and that seems to make a bit of a difference as to where that little button sits um, because when that is, oh, I've bunged it up now, but when that's in there, that's sat about there. And that little pin needs to cover that pilot hole in the centre. And then the gas pressure comes up through that bleed hole. And there's more surface air on the top than there is underneath, so the gas pressure actually pushes the valve shut. But it relies on that pin covering up that hole. So I think we might put it back together with that spring in that, that way round, see if it makes a difference. So I might read the instructions and uh, see if it says anything about that spring having to be one way round or another. Um, there's a chart for checking this plunger, but I've, I've not made any sense of that. Um, and that pin, this float is a floating pin, so I suppose that's normal. Okay, got that back together. Didn't really find anything conclusive in there. Um, from the instructions, um, I got to confirm I can mount it this way. I'm pretty sure you could mount them horizontal or uh, ideally with a cause them sticking out but uh, the other issue could be is if this is oversized there's not enough pressure drop across the valve for it to actually shut because it relies on the gas pressure to uh, push the um, seat shut properly so uh, it might be it's oversized because that's 5 eighths normally I would expect a unit this size to have um, probably half inch liquid line but this, is, this has been specced by somebody else. This is just basically what you, you get supply the kit of stuff to install. So that might be an issue. I mean, that bottom one's working okay. Oh, we've got them around the right way. Inlet, inlet is on the top of the diaphragm. So it should work. It, it worked to start with. It just didn't, didn't shut the... Um, 
uh, once we cooled the water down it didn't shut so it did it did work and then didn't anyway we might be changing it if we do we might put a half inch one in there okay that seems to be working a bit better now because before it would open it would not open, um, not shut to start with but if it opened it would stay open Seems to be working with a magnet, so we'll put the coil back on and see if it works. It's just going to pump down. Okay, we were fine when we first fired it up, so we'll go and turn the tank on and then turn it off and see if it starts and then pumps down again. the tank off. Before it just there was it didn't change, it was just uh, continuous steam of liquid going through there. I suppose it's possible it could have had a little bit of rubbish in there that dropped out when I took it apart. Didn't see anything come out of it. A little bit of copper down there, but now it's a bit of wire. That's from when I was wiring. So it wouldn't take a lot of dust or something to bung it up. Okay, I'm going to measure that. Um, I thought I had a socket for doing those, but I think it was the slightly smaller ones, it was probably the half inch ones. Uh, and the socket ones, you can hear them out there with the, the, the torque setting to pick them up. Um, so we might measure that, see so if we can keep an eye out for a cheap socket on eBay or something. Uh, quite impressed, this has been off since Friday. Tuesday now and the water in there has warmed up from four to six and a half degrees. So I mean if we took it down to say three it'd still only be five and a half so if you had some milk in there it'd certainly still be last you know 24 hours without any cooling to get a power cut or something. So the insulation must be pretty good on that. We put, uh, did a nitrogen purge while we were doing the brazing on this, it was new. Um, we don't always do it. If we've got something 30 or 40 years old and full of crap, don't always bother. And then if it's a used system, if you've got refrigerant in there, you're not going to get any copper oxide anyway, because it's full of refrigerant and there's no oxygen. So, anyway. Well, there shouldn't have been anything in there to get in that valve. I'd like to say, when we fired this up, this was a bit noisy to start with, so it did make me wonder whether something had gone through um, years ago. I mean, this was like 20, 20 plus years ago. I had one of the little Schrader depressors in um, one of these hoses come apart, and a little bit of grass went through the scroll, and that was noisy for an hour or so. And it must have worked its way through eventually. It ran, ran fine for years afterwards until the guy uh, sold up. So these are quite robust um, for bits of travel going through them. Scroll compressor. Not really you'd want to do it. Our choice, but uh, it's nice and clean. Let's see how cold it's got. Okay, there's two. 0.3 of a degree out while I've been wittering on. Uh, I'm not sure how much water we've got in here, but it's, it's definitely above, well above this height. So we, we might have maybe sort of eight or ten thousand litres in there or something. It 
clean this the other day, it's covered in blooming fly turds again. So you're going through the paperwork, um, and that's just pumped down and turned off. Pretty much the same as that one, you can see the fans are still slowing down about the same. So I think that valve's working okay now, it's about 10 times that sh opened and shut okay. So whether it was that spring or it had a bit of um, dirt in there or something, I don't know. Like I said, that one's worked fine. It's the same valve, same size unit. Anyway, just going through this like tanker driver's instructions. A list of fault codes. User instructions, and then we've got um, F gas log books to fill out with all the um, our details and the uh, unit details and so on. That might cut back in in a minute. I'm going to put some delay timers in there so they don't fire up for five minutes once they've turned off. down again. So that's worked every time we've tried it since. Just cooled the water down to three and a half. That's lurking by because I can, I can warm it up with my hand. The same with that one's got a bit. If that was still leaking, you'd get ice on there, I think. But it, before it was just absolutely pouring through. It was like it wasn't even trying to shut. Mm. 